Where are you going with your scouts, Gary? Yeah, where right. am I going, did you say? Alright, you're going to right. have a look at those. Yeah. In his enthusiasm to complete a thorough search of the area, Gary sends his eight Hunnic scouts behind the massed ranks of one of the largest armies of the Western Roman Empire. Unfortunately for him, their presence does not go unnoticed. I'm trying to get... Gary, you're going to be attacked in a minute, mate. Sorry? Confident they're out of harm's way, Gary brings his scouts to a halt. Okay. Gary, you're going to be attacked in a minute, they're coming over. Right, okay. Someone's coming towards you. Retreat. You're going to get them out of the road. Get, get Gary. The Roman cavalry. At last, Gary notices the charging Romans. I'm coming. I'm leaving. Thankfully, Gary's scouts proved too fast for the heavy Roman cavalry. Come home, Gary. Yes, we are. We're coming. Trust me. They're going the wrong way, I'm afraid. They're heading straight back to the Roman army. They're about to be wiped out. There's no reason to pick that fight. Buoyed by their early success in outrunning the Roman cavalry and sensing an early victory, the eight scouts now attack the left flank of the Roman army. You, you, you've disorganised them, so... Oh, was that the plan? Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. There's, there's always Sweet. a cunning plan somewhere. That is, that is aggressive use of their recce forces. So what do you think you're going to do? Get on top of that hill as quickly as possible. Up the hill as soon as you can? Yeah, yeah. Um, With everything and everyone? Well, I'd want to get most of my, or all if I could, troops up there. Pat is less than convinced by Chris's plan. Uh, Pat, you wanted to come in. What, what are your thoughts? Well, I was actually thinking about, I mean, sending all the troops up the top of the hill there. Uh, maybe a bit, uh, probably a bit of futile noise. Send some of them up. They take control of the high ground, mm -hmm. uh, and maybe, uh, maybe a left and a right flanking movement. Yeah. Infantry up here, and cavalry for flanking. I agree with the plan up to the point where he actually takes the infantry up the hill, because the problem with the infantry being on the hill is that they're going to be static. The rest of his army is going to be manoeuvring. The infantry is going to be stuck out on a limb in a position in which the Romans are going to want to take. And therefore, when the Romans do advance, they're not going to be in a position to move back quickly enough. There is potential for the Huns to get into a fight over a piece of dirt. Yeah, exactly. And that doesn't play to their strengths. Do you mind, like Chris? I think we need to get these in there like pretty yeah, quick. Yeah, quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because same. Otherwise, you're going to move so much. The team's plan is to deploy most of their force on the high ground with infantry in front and the mounted archers behind. My main worry with this plan is that they're going to put the infantry up on the hill and then not be able to protect them if the Romans launch an attack in force against that hill. They can pull back their cavalry, but they won't be able to pull back their infantry at the same sort of speed, and it may be left out on a limb. We want to get our cavalry Pat, Sorry? your cavalry on top of that hill. The cavalry on top of the hill. Yeah, and Gary, your heavy cavalry yeah. on top of that hill. You want on top or to the rear? Yeah. I'm going to put four I... to the rear, three to the left, three to the right. Yeah, so that's right. Yeah, yeah that's okay. correct, yeah. Next to deploy are the large numbers of mounted archers, the centerpiece of Attila's Hunnic army, and the troops which have won him such a fearsome reputation. If the team allows that height, that hilltop, to transform from being vital ground that they must deny to the enemy and allow it to turn into the ground that must be defended at all costs, they will be asking for a bloodbath over a piece of dirt, just a, a hilltop that means nothing to them. Right, don't, don't put any attack in yet, Gary. Come round to the flanks of the... Don't put any attacks in yet with your cavalry. Come round to the side of the hill, because if... If they don't make any headway onto that hill, there's no point in deploying that cavalry. The team begin a desperate race to get their troops to the top of the hill. If they've got their tactics right, the Romans will be doing the same from their lines on the other side. But if the Romans get there first, the advancing Huns will be highly exposed. 
moving as they are out of battle formation. Attila's men reach the top of the hill only to find they're alone. The Roman general Aetius still hasn't moved. Either the team have gained an early advantage or the high ground is not as much of a threat to the Romans as they thought. How does this affect your plan? What, them doing nothing? The Romans. No, I'm, I'm happy with that. I mean, I, mean I, I do believe if we can get onto the high ground, we can dominate things and control things. If the Romans try to come up that hill, how will they try to stop them? Will they receive the Romans at the halt? Will they just stand there and let the Romans come up? Or will those howling Gothic barbarians pick up their axes and charge down the hill and disrupt the Roman formation as they come up the hill? To help the cadet instructor's team execute their plan, they now have a real-time satellite view of the battlefield. From their vantage point on the top of the hill, the Huns can see the clouds of dust, which mean the Roman army is on the move. It's to be too far away if they need to engage anything. Yeah. Bring them, so bring yours forward as well. Bring them forward. Pat, yeah, bring them safe. Your horse is forward. The team have deployed Attila's lightly armoured Hunnic infantry to the top of the hill, with their mounted archers behind them in support. Worried about their static deployment, Pat has a better idea for his heavy cavalry. What do you reckon at this stage? Uh, I reckon what we should be doing, maybe, is uh, maybe doing a bit of a right flank and hit them from the sides. Pat would like to use the high ground to send his heavy cavalry to sweep down the right flank and attack the Romans from the rear. Have you, have you told them what you've said? Are they moving forward? They're coming forward. But Chris is totally distracted by the fact that the Roman general Aetius is moving his Allen archers forward. Lacking any real cover, it's an ominous sign for Attila's men on the hill. We will engage him with the horsemen and archers. Just, now, Gary. Just, 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 into there, Gary. Yeah. Sorry, say again. The team can't allow themselves to fight a defensive infantry battle because the Allens will come down and cut them up. What seems to be happening is exactly the point you've made. The Allens are advancing. They're going to fire into these static infantrymen and cause casualties. The Romans' Allen mounted archers draw up within range of the Huns, who is silhouetted against the skyline. And the Allen archers unleash a devastating storm of arrows. The first lethal volley crashes down on the exposed Hunnic infantry. Without cover or heavy armor, they are defenseless and can only stand and await the next deadly hail of arrows. Seeing his infantry being slaughtered, Pat is desperate to get even. What, what suggestion might do is use uh, my heavy cavalry if you come round, come round uh, down the side of the hill and hit them from behind. And you, just run me straight through them. Pat manages to persuade Chris to let him unleash his heavy cavalry in an aggressive attack against the Romans. Pat's plan is to use them in a brutal hit and run attack on the rear of the Roman lines. The only hope for the team's isolated infantry on top of the hill is Pat's cavalry action, which might divert some Roman troops away from the battle. Attila would have been mortified to see his famously mobile troops stationary on this high feature, effectively target practice for the Romans' Allen archers. Are, you, are your generals giving the protection you wanted? Because you've made suggestions I'll, about I'll, that. The thing is, we haven't got anything else there to protect us anyway. My boys are on the front as well, front of the hill. Yeah. All right. Good luck, the Romans are coming. Okay, okay. The Romans are coming, and as Pat's cavalry race behind Roman lines to try to disrupt their advance, Chris's defensive strategy is causing tensions in the command centre. Right, we've got two, those are the two cavalry that are moving around the back. Yeah. I am hearing worries from your lieutenants. In respect of? Your plan. Yeah. No, they do have a few worries. You should talk to them before anything ghastly happens. What are you doing there, Pat? In response to the advance, Pat has brought his archers to the front of the line to engage the Romans. Bring the archers in position now, and they're about to fire. But they're a bit stranded, aren't they? Stranded or not, at least Pat's action is an aggressive response to the Roman presence. Unfortunately, unlike the enemy's mounted Allen archers, the team's foot archers have much less impact against the heavy armour of the Roman infantry. 
If anything, they simply hastened the Romans' decision to advance straight up the hill towards Attila's lines. It's a general advance by the Roman army, and I'm not sure the Huns are in particularly good shape here. They're not manoeuvring, that's the problem. They've got their infantry fixed on the hill. Can we maintain that? That seems like... Are they, far, are they too far away for... Uh... Chris, do you want my cavalry to hit their cavalry from behind? Yes, yeah. bring him in. Right, take him right, right behind the cavalry. Pat has now managed finally to get his troops in a position to attack the Romans. This is exactly how the team should be using their highly mobile Hunnic forces, in lightning strikes. 